Right, I've been playing around with the uh, H160 Oxy Hydrogen Torch. I tried raising with the standard tip and the flame was too intent, too pointed. You want something more with more coverage. Now this is where I brazed it previously with the bullfinch. There's a big broad flame, a lot more heat. So we're going to use the modified tip, the one that I knocked up. I drilled it out and then I finished up. I put on a, uh, a jet. This is a jet out of an old camping gas stove, which I had a guess would be about 0.6 I would say. 0.6 of a mil, so I will light that. That gives a better sort of flame for brazing. We're going to use a 1.6 uh, mil rod. So we've got a bit more control instead of the usual 2.5, 2.4. So we'll see what we can do. See, that's the sort of flame you want. You want, you want to get good, good broad coverage. You don't want a pinpoint flame. Put on some flax. Now we'll put on the bronze. And it looks to be working quite well. See if you go too hot too you're gonna Oxidise the steel. It's hard to see what I'm doing here, but I'll give it a good cut. Good, good broad covering. And when you braze, you always use the metal to melt the rod. You don't use the flame to melt the rod. Metal should be hot enough to do the work. There you go. I think that'll be alright. Now when you turn off your torch, always turn the flame back low and then shut it off. Don't go full on to full off or you get flashback. Let it cool down a bit and then I'll have a tug on it and see what happens. Is that in camera? Yeah. Well it broke the bronze. But it did braze it. That's interesting. Why did it break the bronze? Let's reheat it. Maybe there was a... We'll remelt it and have another go. See what happens. A bit more bronze. You can see it can do it. It's uh, certainly up to the task. I don't know what that looks like. Well, that would be about two and a half mil. Two mil. Let's see what it measures up at. Yeah, 2.5. That was a good guess. Uh, three mil. I did a bit of three mil with it, and it will do three mil. But once you go past three mil, you're going to be struggling. That's better. Get in camera.
Oh, there you go. It raised it up. No problem. Just need a bit more bronze. We didn't have quite enough on it. Um, or maybe I pulled a bit hard on it. But certainly it's as strong as the, the other one I did with the bullfinch. So there you go, that's what you can do with the mighty H160. It, uh, it's going to be useful for small jobs like that. So now we just have to wait for the, uh, the Super Deluxe Torch to come through. They're sending one to me. It's, instead of the standard little torch like this, they're going to send me one which has got six tips. Uh, I think it's six tips. Different sizes. Got a built-in uh, flashback arrestor in the handle, which is basically some sort of granulated uh, filter it has to go through. Uh, they basically work on granules or steel or stainless steel wool, and the flame flashes back, hits the the cylinder full of the, um, the various uh, granules or, or steel wool. And as the flame goes through, so the, the heat gets taken out of the flame and, eventually, and it just goes out before it gets to the end. So that's your flame arrest. It's pretty basic stuff. But, uh, yeah, worth having for sure. The bubbler will stop it, of course. But even so, you know, if you stop it going up the tube, it will stop any sort of moisture coming back down the tube, as can happen, you know, from the bubbler. And then you've got to dry the tube out. So anyway, that's it from me just shows you what can be done and yeah it can do small bronze brazing jobs as I said use a 1.6 rod you find it a lot more controllable than the bigger 2.4 1.6 2.4 you can see the the difference it's about uh, looks about twice the diameter all right, so that's the rod to go for. You have most success with that. You have kicked it under control. Now the easy 303 bronze brazing flax, which is what I've used for years and years and years and years, 20 years. Can no longer buy this. The guy that made it in Sydney has stopped making it. So you're going to have to buy something else. And I've got some other flax coming through. It's got to be a 303 flux. All these fluxes are numbered. So it'll be um, CA303. You can get 606. You can get all sorts of numbers. 303 is the one you want for, for bronze, copper and brass. And you can use that for silver soldering as well. This is the best flux for the job without a shadow of a doubt. I've used two of these containers in 20 years. So, you know, it's kind of like that last me about 10 years and then you get through them. And... Uh, I'm getting the replacement flux sent across from Western Australia to 20 bucks to your doorstep, which is uh, six bucks cheaper than you can buy a similar product from the BOC agent, same size. And when I get it, I'll show it to you. But uh, 20 bucks, pretty good value. Okay, that's it from me. Stay tuned until uh, the new torch arrives and uh, we'll see you next time. Cheers.